What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to linearize trigonometric functions and the function we have here is f of x equals to sine x. And we need to do it at two different points, one of them x equals to zero, the other one x equals to pi. So we have, the formula is gonna be y equals to f of a plus f prime a times x minus a. So for part a, we can say y will be equals to sine zero plus f prime x, which is gonna be derivative of sine x, is gonna be cosine x. So it's gonna be cosine zero times x minus a, which is x minus zero. Sine zero is zero, cosine zero is one, x minus zero. So that's going to be y equals to x. Next example. We need to do the same function but at different points. So it's going to be y equals to sine pi plus cosine pi times x minus pi. Sine pi is negative 1. Sine pi is actually 0. plus cosine pi is negative one, x minus pi, which when you simplify it is gonna be pi minus x. So as you see here, the approximation of the same function at different point is gonna be different. So that's how we need to linearize trigonometric functions using this general formula.